this is pretty funny. He's hanging upside down on my hand. He's full, right? <laughs> Plus, he's used to eating in his bag. This is the boy, isn't it? He's, he's getting awesome. full, yeah. Red bellied woodpecker. Their tree was cut down in Ardsley Park, and two ladies found them in the debris pile by the street. So they had to get chainsaws and cut out the babies uh, about a week ago. This is little cat food pellets that are soaked in water, and they're very nutritious and fat and protein for the birds. We have a little a little shorebird in here um, called a least tern, and he likes fish, minnows, cut up fish, the little uh, mealworms and wax worms. So we'll see if he'll take one of these minnows. You ready? We have a mirror in there, so he thinks he has company. He sits by his mirror almost all day long. bluebirds and a mockingbird, a northern mockingbird. And these are crickets that were alive that we put in the freezer. They're easier. We just thaw them out as we feed them every day. And then this is a syringe diet that is a formula that we use that has all the vitamins and minerals and protein and <whistles> calcium, a little bit of yogurt. <whistles> Hello. Okay, they're all done. <laughs> mostly downtown Savannah. And they end up falling down into the fireplace. Some people call us for help. You gonna eat? These two we just got in yesterday and today. They're not quite with the program yet. Sure. This one still has all of his pin feathers. He doesn't have his feathers, haven't come in yet. They look a little bit like little gremlins. 
Yeah. Those are called pin feathers. And that's the cuticle that's, that's the coating on the feathers, or little spiky tail. And gradually the feathers start to come out because they have to preen off the cuticle. And so all that, all those little things are all pin feathers. to go underneath the wing there before he's ready to fly. He's, not, he's got a ways to go. He still has pin feathers on his face. 